So we want to show the, the group here what type of media capabilities is, these products have, well, in particular get, the, the 140. So the 140 is a media powerhouse. So first off, let me give you a quick example. So you can see here, I've got two, um, two screens. Now, each of these screens is running 18 streams that are being transcoded on a single 100, um, 75 watt Flex 140 card. So we got 18 streams here, 18 streams here. That's 36 streams that are being transcoded on this on little baby little card. Here. Yep, 75 watts. Now, you might wonder what, what the competition look like. Well, let's give you a brief look. If you go over here to the NVIDIA A10, now this is a 150 watt card, double the power. Here we have seven. Seven streams that are being transcoded at 60 frames per second versus 36 on one 75 watt card. So a lot more density you can deliver to a lot more consumers. Now they're all showing sort of the same content that just to, to demonstrate what's possible here. Exactly. And, and Chuck, I had to, when I first saw this, I was like, those, those are just PowerPoint so 60 frames per second, right? Nope, those are not. Those, this card is fantastic. We've set it up to stream at 60 frames per s, and you can see we're consistently getting 60 streams per, um, 60 frames per second across every stream. That's now, right. 1080p is cool, right? Cooler is 4K, right? So let's take a look at what happens when we show this same transcoding solution at 4K. So here you can see we're doing eight of those streams that are being transcoded at 60 FPS. If we go to the competition again, remember this is double the power. We have one single stream. So if you're a network provider, you can transcode one card for one client for one stream. All right, but Chuck, after 4K, so can, after we, can, 4K, we do, can we do 8K? We can absolutely do 8K. So if we take a look over here, we're, you see that we're transcoding that same 8K bitstream now here at 60 frames per second at 8K, which is something that's really unheard of in this power envelope or even a single GPU in the past. In fact, if we look at the competition, well, they just don't have anything. They can't support that at all. Yeah, I have nothing to show. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Chuck. All right. So what you saw there were uh, two examples. Let me go back real quick here. So we showed first the, the 1080p, again, 10 megabits per second to 3 megabits per second. The 4K was at 20 to 15. And then we showed the, the one example of uh, up to 8K to be able to support that. It's not all about transcode. Decode's important as well. You can see multiple different formats here. Going from four, even five times better versus the competition in terms of the density that we can achieve with this product for video processing. So again, near and dear to my heart. Love these type of performance. Love the type of quality. We keep joking about who gets to walk away with this monitor. Um, we are not raffling that off later, so do not, uh, do not put your name in.